In this video we're going to be creating a custom block in our module. We're going to create a dummy module, we're going to create a block class in it, we're going to be using annotations and make it show random quote. We're going to place our module and we're going to disable the cache. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and we're going to be jumping to the code base and we're going to create the bare bone of our module. And now we're going to be creating our block class. So we're going to create a new file in our module folder under src under plugin. Since the blocks in Drupal 8 are plugins and we're going to place it under block and then the name of our block class. So we'll call it Drupal up block.php and we're going to copy this bit and create the class so it's of course a PHP class and we're going to say that this provides a Drupal up block block and here we're going to be writing also the annotations but let's first create a namespace so we say name space for our block class is starting of course always with Drupal then the name of our module Drupal up block and then since the folder structure here as you see continues with plugin and block we're going to say here plugin and then block perfect we're going to be using the block base so I happen to know that it's under Drupal core block block base I will put a link to the block base documentation on drupal.org and we're going to be extending it so we say extend extends the block base class and the next thing we want to do is we want to say that our class is having an annotation so the annotations are in the general case substituting the hook info instances in Drupal 7 so we are declaring some pure information about for example the block like configuration and we're going to be saying this is a block and we say like this and we're saying that our block has an ID Drupal up block it just happens to be the same with the module name but it could be different it's just supposed to be unique in this namespace so we could say here admin label this is something that we're going to see in the backend so we say drupal up block or just block 
perfect and the last thing we want to see so just say category we say again translation and we say our example Drupal up block that's perfect so we can nudge this a bit that's perfect and it closes here and we could simply say like this and our annotation is finished so the next thing we want to do is we want to declare the build method here so it's a public function build and here we're saying that it's inheriting from the it's being inherited from the block base so here we just say return and we could be returning something so we can simply say that we are returning markup and this markup could simply be something and this something could be basically a protected function that lives again in this class so we can call it get random quote so get round quote that's perfect and we can declare this function here so private or protected we can just say private function get random quote and we would have an array of quotes so we can simply here say quotes and it would be an array and in the end we can just return the quotes and array random of the quotes that's perfect so i will magically add some quotes here from the internet there we go some quotes and essentially our module would be building a block that would be showing some random quotes here we can say this is a helper function private function for getting random quote private function for getting random quote that's perfect and yes we already have a module which declares a block and we can find our block with this name and we'll see how we can render some of our quotes so if we jump to the Drupal instance we can simply go under extend and and here we can search for our module so Drupal up block there it is so we can simply activate it perfect so in order to place our block somewhere let's say we want to place it on any page here at the top or at the bottom it doesn't matter 
so we go under structure and we can say block layout and let's say for the content region we click on place block and as we search for our Drupal up block there it is our example Drupal up block and if we click on place block we can say here for a title random quote of the page load so if we save the block and if we click here on save blocks that's all we have to do so now if we just go to the front page we see that random quote of the page load is here and if we refresh maybe we will see another quote but essentially I happen to know that the block cache is blocking us from getting a new quote so now we just get one and the same quote and in order to get another quote we can say that we don't want to cache this bit here or we can say we want to cache it for one hour or something but basically for now we will just disable the cache for this block so what we can do is we can simply declare here a cache value and this is again a subarray and in this subarray we can simply say max age to zero and save it like this and if we now clear the cache that's perfect now we're getting another quote and if we refresh the page from now on we are getting a new quote every time or it's a random quote it could be the same but it's loading one more time you see now we have a quote from Mark Twain and now we have a quote from Mahatma Gandhi and if we load again we see a quote from Anne Frank that's perfect if you like this video please check the links in the description like the video subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon in order to get notifications for the new videos that I upload every Monday thanks for watching